priority field or traffic class field. Why we do we need this field is that in case of congestion, the router has to decide which packet it can discard. Fine. So, the traffic or the packet can be of two types: uncontrolled, tra uh, uncontrolled traffic or controlled traffic. Controlled traffic is a uh, is a type uh, which is providing the congestion control feature. Like if the pack, uh, if in the process, uh, if, the, if the packet has uh, TCP, then TCP already take care of congestion control. So. If the router discard this packet, which is already running TCP, uh, TCP, uh, TCP, then even if this uh, packet is discarded by the router, TCP, uh, TCP will take care of the retransmission of this packet. So, and uncontrolled traffic is that. Suppose in case of uh, live streaming, the packets are not controlled. If you deliver the packet, you deliver. Otherwise, you will lose the lose the traffic. You will not. Uh, there is no. Meaning to send the packet afterwards because there will be no use. So this is called uncontrolled traffic. So uh, so you can already uh, intuitively also you can see that if there are two packets, one packet which is controlled packet and one packet is uncontrolled packet, and router receives these two packets and there is a congestion, so it should uh, it should discard which packet. If it discard this controlled packet, then it is fine because. It, uh, the TCP will retransmit this packet, but if it discard control uncontrolled packet, then it will lose this packet because there is no meaning to send this packet again. Fine. So the uncontrolled packet are given higher priority than the controlled packet. Fine. So in controlled packet also there are priorities given. Fine. So if the priority of the packet is zero, mean that is though it's not a specific traffic, so it's fine if you discard this packet. Uh, fine. Uh, uh, the priority of the packet is one if it is a background data pack, uh, background data packet. So if you discard this packet, uh, so this packet is not needed urgently. So even if you discard this packet right now, and if you send it later, there is no harm. Huh? Fine. So in case of congestion, you can discard this this, this packet or uh, unattended data uh, data packet. In the same case, uh, uh, similarly, uh, this packet is also no needed. Uh, at a higher priority means it's not needed uh, right now. It may be required later. So this is unattended. So priority of this packet is also low. Fine. So this prior the zero means the lowest priority and the seventh means highest priority. So likewise, the priority has given uh, has been given to this packet so that. In case of congestion, router can decide which packet it can discard and which uh, which packet not. So it is important to know that who can set the priority of these packets. So upper layer, upper layers like application layer, transport layer, layer transport layer. These layer know what kind of this what kind of packet it is, so they can set the priority of the packet or. Source can set the priority of this pa of the packet, but intermediate routers are allowed to change the priority of these packets. Why? Since source is since source is allowed to set the priority of the packet, uh, it may be the case that every user so the user want that its packet to be delivered at the fastest speed. Fine. So it may be the case that every user is giving its packet the highest priority. Then in that case also router will get confused to which packet it can discard. So in that case intermediate router that's why the intermediate routers are allowed to change the priority of these packets. Fine. And since intermediate routers are allowed to change the priority of these packet when destination went from source after going through multiple intermediate router destination receives the packet and it checks the priority of the packet it may be different because intermediate router have uh, may have changed that in between. So it may be not it may not be the same priority which source has given it. So this is all about the priority field. So the next we have is a next header field. So in IPv4 we have a field called option by which uh, IPv4 packet inform about the source routing or the additional option uh, it uh, the packet is uh, having. Fine. But in IPv6 uh, and because of this option field the header length of the IPv4 packet was variable. So, but in IPv6 we want the header length to be fixed. That's why we got the concept of next header. So, whatever option, option one, 
or option 2. Likewise, whatever option IPv6 packet want to support, it want uh, it supported in the form of next header. So, the uh, the detail about option 1 will be given to will be stored in this next header. Fine. It tell that the for, uh, it tell the, the extension header which is after this base header with, will have the information about the first option. Fine. So it will give information about the first option. So the first option is in this next header. Similarly, in this extension header, we also have a field called next header, which is which will give the information about the option two. Similarly, in this extension header, we'll have the field called next header field, which will give detail about extension header three and likewise. Fine. So all the option are given in the form of extension header and the next header will, uh, next header field will tell you what an option is the next uh, what option is the next extension header field uh, next extension header is all about fine so in, in case of ipv6 the tcp or udp header are also considered as the next header fine so in, if you remember in case of ip uh, ipv4 we have a field called protocol which have information about the which layer uh, which transport layer protocol uh, which transport layer protocol is used by this ipv4 packet so if it is using tcp we were the pro this protocol field was 6 if it uh, if it is a udp it field was 17 but instead of protocol uh, there is no need of protocol field also right now because the tcp and udp headers or uh, the transport layer header is also considered as the extension header only fine so if the tcp header or the udp header is after this ipv6 packet that information is, uh, will be given by the next header field fine so uh, consider the case that there is no option uh, there is no option field uh, option required for the ipv6 packet so in the next header field of the base header it will have the value 6 means the next uh, extension header the first extension header after this base address is of after this base uh, header is of tcp header fine uh, and it is also considered it li as like a extension header fine or 17 if it is a udp header if there is no option you know if there is no uh, option it want to provide fine so certain code has been provided to specify the option fine so if in the next header field the code is zero code means in the next header field i have the value of the code so if the uh, next header field is zero it means the extension the first extension header after this header is hop by hop option it is providing the hop by hop option if it is two it is then, then it is of icmp if it is of six tcp 17 udp if it is of, if it is 43 then this is source routing so it, uh, the ip packet is providing the source routing option if it is 44 then fragmentation 50 encrypted security payload 51 authentication and likewise you need not remember all these options i am just giving you the brief idea fine so suppose your your ipv6 packet want to provide the option uh, like routing option fragmentation option and all these options so what will happen in the base header in the base header the next header field will be 43 means that the first extension header is of source routing option fine then in this extension header in this extension header 1 the next header field will be uh, 44 means that the next extension header is of the uh, option fragmentation then uh, in this in this extension header 2 the next header field will be 6 means now the options are over and the next header or the next extension header or the header is of tcp header and then there will be tcp data like so likewise all the options are provided in the form of extension header and it helps me in keeping the base header length as fixed length so when your ipv6 packet provides the option 
there are some convention you should follow means the option should be in this order it's not a rule but it is convention why suppose you are providing the routing header then uh, then this option will be needed by any every intermediate router but every intermediate router if the hop by hop option uh, field is also present and the router uh, header field is also present then it is better if you provide the hop by option field uh, or hop by op option extension header before the routing header because all the intermediate router are going to use both these uh, both these options so it's, uh, they need to inform uh, they need to know about the hop by option before the routing header fine so it is convention that the uh, any option which are want to provide uh, uh, your ipv6 packet want to provide then they should be arranged in this order it's a, just a convention it's not a rule what is a rule is that if hop by hop so this is this option the, and this is a rule if this hop by hop option is present if your ipv6 packet is supporting or is providing the hop by hop option it should be the first extension header after the base header fine so if your ipv6 packet is providing the hop by hop option then in the base header field your next in your base header the next header field will be zero it it has to be zero because if hop by hop option uh, option is present then it has to be the first extension header after the base header this is the rule the second rule is that so the rule is it should be first option if it is there if it is not there then it's fine if it is there it has to be the first option the second rule is that all these option should be present at most one fine so if your uh, uh, if your ipv6 packet is providing hop by hop option routing header and fragmentation and all these header then these uh, corresponding to these option the extension header should be at most one so for uh, hop by hop option there should be at most one extension header for routing header there should be at expo, at most one uh, extension header except only this header except this header destination header each option extension header should be present at most one this can be present multiple times so uh, remember there are two different option destination option header and destination header so this is allowed to be present more than once but all these uh, all the other uh, ex uh, options can be present at most one so these are and these two are the rules and the order which you should follow uh, that is just a convention it's not a rule okay so now i will give you uh, i will give some brief introduction about uh, some of these extension headers fine so uh, let's talk about the hop by hop option the hop by hop option will be needed by or will be seen by every intermediate router between the transmission path so the hop by hop option will be needed by every intermediate router so if you see its extension header format it has next header field it has a uh, length field le header length field and it has option field so while designing ipv6 uh, they have keep uh, they have keep in mind the future requirements so you will in ipv6 you you will find most of the things are reserved for the future purpose so if you consider this option also hop by hop option uh, just now in the options we have just jumbo packet option and rest of the options uh, they have keep space for rest of the option and uh, for the future requirement right now we have just a jumbo packet option what the jumbo packet option has so uh, if you remember in your ipv6 header the payload length is 16 it means your payload can range from 0 to 2 power 16 minus 1 if your packet size is bigger than 2 power 16 minus 1 then that information you can provide it in the jumbo option fine and like in ipv4 also you want your uh, you want the size of the packet to be multiple of 4 or 8 so you need uh, uh, in ipv4 you do padding similarly we do padding here as well so likewise uh, as we do padding in ipv4 we do padding here also so if the option uh, option field uh, in this uh, header is less than 8 bits we add some bits to make it a multiple of 8 bits so this is the padding we have Fine. So this is about hop by hop option. 
so next uh, header was uh, routing extension header so in uh, in ipv4 to provide strict source routing strict source routing what does it means that the sender specify the path the sender specify that while uh, sending packet from uh, this sender to this receiver it is specify the pa uh, the intermediate router <coughs> the packet is going to be uh, crossed across fine so if uh, there are uh, router r1 and r2 in between this sender has provide information inside option that it is a so it is using a strict source routing field that means the uh, that packet should pass through r1 first then r2 and then the destination fine so uh, likewise uh, uh, in ipv6 we provide this feature with the help of routing extension header fine so if your packet is transmitting from these routers along the path this is the destination so in this header routing extension header we have field called source address destination address similar same uh, as the their meaning and we have the field called sl sl imply segment left and to provide strict source routing feature it give the address of the all the intermediate router he want is packet to cross or to cross fine so it give address of the intermediate router so suppose this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 so it provide the address that address one is of r1 address two is of r2 address three is of r3 fine and this value is three and address four is of b uh, destination d and segment left is four so what does it mean is the ipv6 packet uh, inside ipv6 packet the routing extension header field is present that means uh, the uh, the source or the a want to give the uh, options so uh, for strict source routing for that it need to specify or it need uh, it need to give addresses of all the intermediate router it want it packet to came across or to cross across fine so in uh, in this header we have the field called segment left what does segment left means after this node how many intermediate node it is uh, how many node it has to came across to reach the final destination so if your packet is at a if your packet is at a before reaching destination it has to go to this node first then this node then this node then this node so there are four nodes fine so in order to reach destination d it has to cross four nodes or it has to uh, pass across four nodes so the segment left field is four uh, when the packet is at a fine then it provide the all the addresses it want to came across so the address one is r1 address two is r2 address three is r3 and address four is destination so they has to be in order that uh, that the packet should first visited r1 then r2 then r3 and then it should reach the destination so uh, okay now when this packet is received by r1 what it will do it will check it will reduce the segment left by 1 because uh, the packets are already reached by r1 so uh, the segment left is decreased by 1 now then it will so the destination address was d it will swap these two address r1 to d fine so why uh, there is no need to swap actually you can ignore r1 but it's better if we save the uh, if we save the addresses so that when the packet reach the destination it can match whether the packet has came across all the all the routers which were it specified in the extension header fine so when packet has reached r1 it has decreased the segment left by 1 and it has swapped this address by r1 is stored here and this is the destination so now segment left have to be visited is 3 and the next address that has to be visited is 2 which is r2 then packet 
will be uh, will be transferred to R2. When it is reached R2, the segment left will be decreased by one, uh, so it will become two. And now the address R2 will be swapped by this address. So uh, R1 is stored here, and R2 is is gone there. Fine. So the next address now has to be visited is R3. So the packet will be transferred to R3. Fine. When the packet reach R3, the segment left will be reduced by one, and its address R3 will be swapped by this address. So R3 will come over here, and the address before present was R2. Now, now the next address the packet has to be go go through is address this. This is the destination address. So the packet will be transferred here. Now the segment left field field will be decreased by. One, so it will become zero, and this address will be swapped by the this address. So R three come over here, and destination has to come over here. Now, when it reaches the destination, the destination has reduced the segment left by one, and it became zero. This indicates then did this indicate that it is the last node the packet has to be visited. So it is the destination. Now you can see. That in this these address R1, R2, R3, and destination. These addresses are present. So now destination can check whether the packet has visited R1, R2, and R3. So this is just a cross-checking thing. Fine. So you not uh, you need not remember the whole process. I am just giving that uh, this is the header present and this is the option for providing the strict source routing. And this is some vague procedure I am I am telling you about, which is followed by which we make sure that. The source uh, strict source routing is followed. Means when uh, when A has specified that its packet should pass through R1, R2, R3, and D, then they have visited in the same order. And after visiting in the same order, destination can also cross check because these are addresses are present here. Then destination can cross check whether the packet has followed the same path or not. So that much is important. Uh, that much is sufficient for gate. You just need to get the brief idea of the every field. Fine. That much is sufficient.